In this video, we're gonna be using the Shaving Shop Club Vita and the Above the Tie X1 Slant Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back to another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it and I'm very excited today to be using for the first time Vita by the Shaving Shop Club slash Ariana and Evans. This is a soap that was made for the Lather and Blade Facebook group and man, let me tell you, I like everything about this soap. I like the label, amazing artwork by Raza, love the side label, love the scent. And one thing I wanna mention right out of the gate, this soap in the past couple of offerings from Ariana and Evans has, has been much more firm. I like that, I think that gives you better value because you need to use less soap. It's not soft and goop, goopy, so Pete, excellent job on firming this up. I really like that a lot. Also, this contains emu oil. We'll get to that in a minute, but first, let's talk about the scent. This is a delicate balance of a lot of stuff dancing around. What you get first when you open the, the puck is a, a citrus, a bright citrus, but it's not too bright. It's not punchy like, say, C4, C Spice Lime, where you get a, a blast of citrus right in the face. It's a delicate sort of citrus that has some rounding in the back. Let me put the scent notes for you right there. We have lime, bergamot, let's see, bay, yuzu, tobacco, sandalwood. And the sandalwood and, and all those things sort of just round it on the back. The scent strength on this, probably close to medium, not quite, but again, it's sort of a delicate scent, and I think they did a great job with it. Both David Gonzalez, who worked with Pete on this scent, and Pete, I think they did an amazing job. It's not a blast in the face of strong scent, like a lot of times you get from Annie. It's a delicate, refined balance, and I think it's fantastic, and I really look forward to using this. As mentioned before, this now has emu oil in the ingredients. Remember how I used to say dragon tallow, chupacabra oil, a super blue emu? Now we got it in the soap. <laughs> so um, I like the firmness of this soap again. I think that brings more value. Now this one, because of the ingredients, was a little bit more pricey than normal. It was a slightly over $5 an ounce if you're a member of the Shaving Shop Club. But again, more firm means you have to use less soap. So the value, I think, is still there and we really are happy to be using this today. And I wanna say one thing before I get too far into this. When I did my unboxing, I thought Ariana Nevins had made a mistake because I had two sets of Vita and I forgot that one set was a gift for someone. So I had ordered two. One was supposed to go to Marion the Barbarian and I thought they didn't send it to him, they sent it to me, but as it turns out, I was wrong. So I apologize to Pete and Ariana and Evans and his lovely wife, Evelyn, because they got it right, I was wrong. I've been so frazzled with the health stuff and everything that I just flat got it wrong and I apologize. Um, just to bring you up to date on that, the diagnosis that we got yesterday was uh, leukemia. So now we know what we're facing in terms of my mom's health and we'll take the next step. I was emotional about it yesterday. It was, it was tough in that video, but we're moving on. We're gonna be positive. Uh, we're gonna do all that we can and uh, just you know keep those thoughts and prayers coming. All right, <sighs> I've talked three minutes now and I haven't gotten to the razor even. The razor for today, the above the top X1 slant, and it is slanted, which gives you sort of that guillotine cutting action. And this is an Artist Club style razor, which uses a blade like this, called Artist, Dub, Artist Club <laughs> style blades. One of the things I like about this razor is, and I don't think I've ever done this before on camera, is this has the Atlas handle, which has barber pole knurling, and it is very grippy. Let me try to show you this. If I just hold my fingers like that and let that razor slide, see how it twists? My fingers, look, aren't moving. The razor's twisting because of the knurling. Just holding it and it spins around on its own. And, and I've always thought this knurling was quite good and refined. It's grippy without feeling super grippy and I like that. So let's go ahead and load our Artist Club blade. And again, this is a uh, single edge. Well, I just dropped my Artist Club blade. <laughs> blade stay tuned and all right we are back and we've got the blade loaded in the razor and again you can see that slant it's not torqued but it is slanted and uh, we hope to get an excellent shape by the way you can get 10 percent off your above the tie order if you use discount code i am cdb so if you are interested in buying an above the tie razor use that discount code you'll get 10 percent off and it also helps the channel so thank you very much for your support on that and look at that slant right there. We look forward to using this. It's been a while since we've used it. Let's get into it because we're five minutes. So we will definitely only be doing two passes today because we don't make a want to make a super long video. And this lather has been sitting for a little bit, but creamy goodness, creamy goodness. And I did not have to use as much soap because again, 
This soap is more firm. I didn't have any problems whatsoever ever uh, lathering it. It lathered really nicely for me. And so we're gonna try to sort of expedite the uh, application of the lather just to catch up on time a little bit. I've been working to keep these videos a little bit shorter, being mindful of your time and mine. But I can tell you right now, this is good stuff. It's gonna be slick, it's creamy, it's nice. You can see it's holding hydration there. What more could you ask for? Pete makes excellent, excellent soaps. And again, I apologize to Pete and Evelyn for uh, for thinking they didn't send the other one that I ordered to marry him, because they did. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. And uh, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't follow up, I didn't do my homework, and, and so we apologize to the, to Pete and Evelyn for that. Man, this smells great. They did a magnificent job on this soap. David and, David and Pete. Really awesome, and Raza did an excellent job on the label as well, so I'm very excited about using this. Yesterday I had a viewer who said he used a popsicle stick, stick to uh, remove the uh, the lather from down here, and so I thought, let's use this little sort of spoon I have and see how that works, so I'm not not uh, getting my, uh, my fingers wet, and it's worth a try, and then you can put the lather right back in the bowl there, and so I thought that's a good idea. Not quite as clean as my finger, but you know, what are you gonna do? He said he uses a popsicle stick, so let's see if we can use the other side. It works, so we'll go with it. Got a little bit on the shirt there, but no big deal. Okay, let's uh, let's get going with our Bud the Tie Razor. There we go. Feather Professional is the blade here, and that feels nice. The Feather Professional blade is wider than your uh, DE blade. And so you are getting more real estate with each stroke there and very nice shaver here this is the as far as i know the first ever artist club style slant single edge very nice shaver feels to me uh, on efficiency to be about in the medium realm i like it now some people are of the opinion that slant razors only work well when they're torqued meaning that blade is twisted and the Artist Club blades are quite rigid, so they're not going to really torque too much. So I don't know if it's possible to really put a lot of torque on them. But for me, you know, the, the razor is still slanted, and you might still benefit from that slant cutting action. And uh, I bought this razor from Bob, Bob the Tie, and I've enjoyed using it. So um, I think it's a good shaver. It's a little bit heavy because that the head is kind of big on it, so... The one thing that I would recommend um, if, a, if Above the Tie uh, ever revisits, this is maybe, if you could slim down the head size a little bit, that'll make it feel a lot more ergonomic, I think. But overall, um, I've really enjoyed using this razor thus far. It's been a good shaver for me, and I like Above the Tie products generally. And they're very nice people. We had them on Real Talk. Um, Oh, maybe a couple months ago. And they were just delightful people. All right, first pass in the books. That was very nice and smooth. The soap smells great. I, it's really difficult to describe this soap. This is a very difficult soap to describe because you get some citrus. You get a lot of different notes and they all uh, blend together very nicely but it's not a big citrus pop, you know. Um, it, it, it does have a, let me, let me try to rephrase that a little bit. You get some citrus pop at the beginning, but it's not a citrus bomb, you know, where you just, it's super bright. You get enough brightness and sweetness that it's really, really nice, but then you get some rounding. It is very refined, is the way I would characterize this scent. And I don't know at what time this will go on sale to the public, if ever. But I can tell you right now, I really like the soap. I think they've done a great job with it all around. This is really, really great. Um, it's one of those really relaxing scents, I would say. Um, it just kind of puts you at ease. Again, don't think big citrus pop, super bright in your face blast. Think relaxing, mellow, sweet, but not too sweet, well-rounded. And uh, I tell you what, 
I really like this a lot. Again, it, it is, to, for me, it's kind of a departure from, from Pete's tendency to do super, super bold scents, you know. Um, this one is very refined, delicate. Um, at that time, I just used my hand because I'm so used to <laughs> using it, but uh, I like this scent. It is a winner for me. I'm very happy with it. And I'm glad they they made it. So let's get on with pass number two here. Gonna speed it up just a bit. Again, the, the blade here is the Artist Club Feather, Artist Club Professional. It feels fantastic. There's great residual slickness on this soap. So the razor is just gliding along, rinsing easily because we've got plenty of hydration in the soap. Tremendous residual slickness there. So we will follow up and go across here real quick, just in the interest of saving time. Normally we do three passes, but in the last week or so, we've cut it back just a little bit to two. And honestly, those shades have been working out. I'll probably go back to the full three passes at some point, but today we've done a lot of talking at the beginning of the video, so we'll just keep it to two. Very, very nice. Very enjoyable indeed. And again, I would mention, if you are going to buy something from Above the Tie, use that discount code IMCDB, um, and you'll save yourself from money. But as always, completely up to you. I don't ask you to buy anything. If I ever do ask you to buy anything, I will make that very clear. <laughs> clear. Uh, but if you're in the market for Above the Tie razor, like this one, I definitely use the code and save yourself some money. By the way, this razor is $175, uh, which is, you know, right around that premium uh, price. And they do offer it above the tie afterpay, which means you can break it down into four installments, interest-free. And I think that's awesome because some people, you know, they, they're on a budget, but maybe they want the razor right now when they make that first payment, and then they can make the other three over the next, um, I think it's like uh, every two weeks or something like that, you can make a payment, which is, uh, I think that's awesome. So if you see any of the above the tie offerings that you like, you can take advantage of that after pay option if you don't want to pay the full price, whatever it is. And I think that's, I think that's awesome. And I hope more people will do that. I think um, Tatara told me they were investigating doing that as well, so. Maybe that will put that Miramasa razor within reach of more people, you know, to break it down. Man, I tell you, smooth shaver here. I like this slant razor. I haven't seen a ton of people use it. Um, I like it. But then again, I, I've liked most of the razors that Above the Tie have produced over the years. They've been around a long time and they're still doing it well. And man, oh man, the soap today has been good to me. Scent-wise, performance-wise, you can see plenty of residual slickness there. I'm just going over that face with all that residual. The Kaizen 2E, I think is fantastic. I love that it's more firm. Um, I really like it. There's nothing but good things to say today um, about the razor and equipment. Just fantastic. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied our PAA alum, no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave. Following the alum, we rinsed off and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to using the Thayer's uh, Cucumber Watermelon Magic because it's made by witches. I gotta tell you, today I was so happy with this shave. The Vita by the Shaving Shop Club slash Ariana and Evans. Terrific soap. I love the new firmness of this soap. I think Pete... Uh, is just doing an excellent job with these formulations. And this, to me, represents an improvement, that firmness. I don't know if you can see that still, but we still got some of the soap left in the, in the round part of that bowl right there. And if it were his last formula, which is a bit softer, it'd probably be gone. So better value, I think, on this. And the scent was just a magnificent, delicate balance of citrus and sandalwood. And I think they nailed it. This is awesome. Nice, relaxing scent. I loved it. Just tremendous. The razor for today, I loved also as well. The Above the Tie X1, which is the first single edge Artist Club blade. 
slant made in the United States by Above the Tie. Um, really, really nice razor. I enjoyed using it and I've enjoyed it every time I've used it so far. And remember, if you shop at Above the Tie, use IMCDB to get a 10% discount and it also helps out the channel. So thank you if you do. All right, let's finish it out today with the Shaving Shop Club Vita Splash, which is gonna be magnificent. And boy, I tell you today, uh, it's, it's a much better day today. Uh, knowing, you know, what we're facing and, and having to shave and just, um, I just feel better today. So I want to thank you all for bearing with me on this roller coaster I've been on. It's going to be some tough times, but we're going to keep plugging. And man, again, this scent on this is just, it's mellow, relaxing, and I just love it. So thank you everybody for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.